If you need help setting up your fin rear, then this is the video for you. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. The first thing you want to do is undo the five screws that's holding the Sega Saturn together. Once the lid is off, you unclip the two ribbons that's connected to the CD drive and unscrew the screw that's holding it down. Although you don't have to do this, I actually unscrewed the screw from the metal strip and then placed it back in. We then positioned the fin rear and connected the two ribbons. Now depending on whether or not you've got a 21 pin or a 20 pin ribbon, we'll determine the positioning of the ribbon on the fin rear. But it's all marked, so it's pretty straightforward. You then put the lid on and then screw it all back together. It's as simple as that. Now there are 3D printed trays that allows you to insert the SD card at the top. It also gives you the ability to use a full size SD card rather than a micro SD. Links in the description. Now that we've done that, it's time to get the SD card ready. Now as Windows can't natively format an SD card bigger than 32 gigs, I use GUI format. The link's in the description. We're gonna format our SD card to FAT32 and we're gonna give it a name. In this case, I called it subscribe. When formatting your SD card, please ensure you select the correct drive. The last thing you wanna do is delete things that you don't wanna be deleting. Okay, so your SD card is formatted, so it's time to head over to the FinRare website where you can find the latest firmware and then you download it. Add the FinRare download to the root of your SD card. And then let's add some games, eject the SD card, slot it into the Sega Saturn and then fire it up. Once it loads, select your game, click A, job done. And on that note, I'll leave you with the Street Fighter Alpha 2 intro. Thank you.